before we begin we must look at some examples of improper fraction so the first one will be 2 over 2 this is improper because when both numerators and the denominators are the same that is a improper fraction same with 3 over 3 4 over 4 that's improper another example is 5 over 2 and this is also improper because when the numerator is greater than the denominator numerator is the top number denominator is the bottom number that is also an improper fraction so here we have 3 over 3 3 thirds this is improper however when the numerator the top number and the denominators are the same denominators are the bottom number it will always equal one so three-thirds equals one if you don't believe me you could just take the top number divided by the bottom number type it in your calculator or do it in your head and the answer will be one same for any other number where both the top and the bottom are the same here is another example we have seven over seven seven sevenths divide them they will equal one seven divide seven equals one so here we have five over two the top number is bigger than the bottom number improper so what we do is we take the bottom number number two and we ask ourselves how many times does two go into five without going over two four six so it only goes twice the answer is two or you could divide the top number from the bottom number so the top number is five divided by two equals 2.5 so we have to take this improper fraction and make it proper now we know that 2 goes into 5 twice so we write the 2 up here however we're going to have some left over so we draw the little dividing line we put a 2 on the bottom because that's the denominator and denominator will stay the same and then we take 2 the denominator times this 2 equals 4 then we take the 5 in the from the improper fraction and we subtract it 5 minus 4 will equal 1 and then we take the 1 and we put it on top right here so 5 over 2 will be 2 and a half to excel in math we always double check our work so we take this 2 and a half and what we do is we take the denominator 2 multiply by this 2 that will equals 4 then we take 4 plus the numerator and that will equal 5 so we write 5 on top draw the little dividing line and the denominators will always stay the same so we put the 2 right up here here we have improper fraction where the top number is bigger than the denominator the bottom number so we ask how many times does 2 go into 8 without going over 2 4 6 8 that is four times and you could also take the top number 8 and divide it by the bottom number 2 8 divided by 2 the answer will be 4 in this case it's just four nothing else so some fractions you'll just equals a whole number that's how you convert it to a proper fraction or a just a whole number